Whether you believe it or not, Bitcoin is changing your life every day in many different ways. In this video, we're going to share with you eight, eight, that's nine, eight different ways. <laughs> eight, eight ways Bitcoin is transforming your life across various sectors of living. Double O. Champion, let's start with finance and banking. Oh man. Banking. In the world of banking, right? We did a video a while back talking about banking fees, mm. limitations and restrictions. Uh, if you've been in Nigeria or in a third world country and the limit the amount of money you can take out of your ATM, right, or the amount of your US dollars that you can take out of your bank, it will. madness. Yes. Bitcoin allows you to transfer, pay, transact anywhere in the world without having to deal with any restrictions. Absolutely. You know, the second way, which is very similar to banking as well, is remittances. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to, um, what do you call this place again? You see, it's so old, I don't remember. Western Union. Oh, mm -hmm. Money grab. <laughs> oh, money grab. There you go. That's <laughs> what I was trying to I had to think yellow and black, yellow and black, yellow and black. Is okay? They're about to be the blockbusters of money. Hey, look. When you look at some of the El Salvador, mm -hmm. Nigeria, most African nations, mm -hmm. right? India. One of the main areas of the GDP is remittances. Tell them. Now, there is a lot of fees, a lot of time associated with sending money back home. Mm -hmm. Okay. But with Bitcoin and the Lightning Network, Pew. you can send money anywhere across the world for almost nothing. And it's instant with no middle person, barely any fees. So that is a very strong area uh, where Bitcoin is changing our lives. Number three, if you are not investing, your money is dying. Mm -hmm. Inflation, destroying the value of your money every single day, every single time you open your eyes. Uh, plus so, taxes. Plus taxes. So you must invest. But did you know that one of the world's greatest investment right now is Bitcoin? Ever since its creation, that thing has been Xing and Xing to the point that an average of 70% annually. Yeah. Even in the freaking down crashing market. But what if I bought it at the top and I've sold it now? Even those that bought it at the top. But they've sold it now. They've sold it now? Yeah. Oh, because you fell for the fear of missing out. You got to watch our channel to know when to buy. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we actually do teach a class to teach you how to find the bottom of markets and stop hey. feeling, falling for the fraud. Listen, the fraud you, makes you sell. The fear of missing out makes you buy at the top. Yes. If you want to take uh, the best technical analysis class you've ever taken in your life, okay? Shoot us a message, shoot us up on X, all that type of stuff, okay? My website is it's coming up, okay? But shoot us a message okay double o is one of the best in the game out there so uh have no fear we got you now the next way that bitcoin is transforming our lives is privacy and security okay now currently if you send money to anyone okay the banks know that you sent money there is also something called a CBDC that is coming up that will allow banks and governments actually to be able to control what you do with your money. In fact, this is really effective in China, right? If they don't want you to have access to something, they can block your payments mm -hmm. from going through. Let me take you back to the trucker situation in Canada where Canada. people try to send money. Oh yeah, that was a, that was a strong song there. <laughs> people try to send money to some protesters. Okay, and Trudeau and his squad told the banks, block the payments, and they took the money. And shut down the bank accounts. Exactly. With Bitcoin, this money is not, you cannot censor it. You can send it to anyone, anytime. And not, not, no one will necessarily know it's you. I know that we are worried about KYC, KYC. But what is going to happen when Bitcoin have hopped from one person to the other, to the other, to the other, to the other, to the other? I get it. They can probably use AI to track payments and things like that. Mm -hmm. But you know what? There are practices and there will always be applications that you can use to make sure that your transactions are pseudonymous. 
mm-hmm. or in some cases anonymous. Unlike with the traditional banking system where they have your social security number and your blood sample. Sigwit, boom. Economics. Yeah. <laughs> we specialize in this area. Russia escaped the old madness with the old sanctions. Yeah. How do you think they did that? Bitcoin was a huge part of that. Mm. Yeah. How is Iran surviving? How is North Korea surviving? Mm. And I'm not telling you this to say that these are all anti-American. I'm just trying to tell you that economically, if America is continue is supposed to continue to be the number one top nation in this world, it will need to divest from printing money out of tin here. Yeah. So going back to an actual resource that the dollar is paid to. Absolutely. And that currency is Bitcoin. Here's why. It's money that is proof of work. Mm-hmm. Money that cannot be manipulated. It's money that no one can print out a tin year. And for you to hope maintain a strong economy that is not made out of debt money, right. that your U.S. Treasury is struggling to survive because now you got to have a bunch of countries to buy your shares Oh, by your debts, mm-hmm. yeah, right to survive. Then you have something. Actually, funny enough, Trump mentioned it during his call. RFK mentioned it during to, during 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 the seminar as well. Reserve, put the Bitcoin in the nation's reserve. Absolutely. And watch your economy boom. The hardest money on earth, <clears throat> sir. Well, that was economic inclusion. There, um, we'll talk about e-commerce as well. Uh, and this really ties into similar to the previous uh, ones as well. Um, being able to pay for things anywhere across the globe. I'll mm-hmm. give you a quick example. Let's say you are someone living in some African nation. I don't know. We'll pick Ethiopia, for example. Beautiful place. Mm-hmm. And uh, you have a skill. And you have now spent time putting together maybe a product or maybe you're advertising your skill somewhere. And you wanting to do work for someone that is maybe in the U S maybe in Japan, something like that. But how do they pay you quickly and efficiently without the money taking two days? You know, when I send money to Ethiopia, it's still, it's still like overnight. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? Are you flying the money over there by yourself? (laughs) Exchange rate issues. Money's got to go all the way to London, get it verified, all that madness. Or you can just use the lightning network. And just send Bitcoin instantly. You can pay for things. You can pay for someone's service across the globe. Mm-hmm. That is that economic inclusion. Remember, we had a right. guest on the show that was getting paid internationally in oh, Bitcoin. Yes, yes. He made a lot of money. Mm. That person does not need to be in the West. Anyway, moving on. Charitable donations. Mm. We always say, oh, we cannot run this world without taxes. Mm. That's not true. We could run it on kindness. Actually, it's a lot of the, you know, that was a research that was made that said human beings are actually a lot more kind that we than than we believe. Yeah. You can run your community like we have here. We have a Bitcoin mm, Bitcoin fund. Fund for my neighborhood. For the neighborhood, yeah. And we have an event every year and people gladly give so that we can put this event together every year. And we'll put some of these funds in Bitcoin and we are up seventy two percent. Is there any, I don't know what investment has been 72% uh, in the same time period. Mm, you know, right. there is that. And it can be tracked. I'll give one example there. Remember the, the school that was somewhere in South Africa mm-hmm. where they had electricity mm-hmm. issues and people could pay for the electricity mm-hmm. with Bitcoin from anywhere across the world? Mm-hmm. Their bill has never been not paid. I'll mm-hmm. put that. Mm-hmm. Finally, the last one is digital identity. You see, Bitcoin's blockchain can be used to verify identities securely, Mm -hmm. reducing that risk of fraud, no fake IDs, multi-sig activity. Election season is coming. Hey, listen, man, you can vote and uh, it's going to take uh, a a special signature, right? Mm -hmm. Or a multi-factor, not multi-factor, a multi-sig situation to confirm that, uh, that authenticity. Of your vote, right? Mm-hmm. It's sort of like, um, is it is it Noster, where you can you can pay for, uh, you can use Sats to confirm, uh, 
uh, authenticity of, of messages and things like that. Yep. There Thanks, is sorry, yeah. there are some use cases where you can use Bitcoin to confirm authenticity. And I think identity is one of those. We do not need to go to a CBDC system where the authenticity of of, of activity and identity can only be confirmed by what is it called? Some central authority. Is it one coin where they want to scan your eyeball? Yeah, yeah. one world or, or yeah, yeah, one, one coin, something. one coin or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, with an orb, <laughs> with your eyes, yeah, with your iris. Imagine that. Even bigger is that it even protects your identity as well while yes. confirming your identity at the same time. Exactly. Madness. Imagine that. Okay. Technology is great, but I think we have to be cautious in the direction that we're driving with it. Because I think technology has just turned into a situation of some people collecting everyone's information and trying to use it for profit and control. Mm. The internet today. Yes. And the one that owns the internet owns you, owns your data. Yes. Why can't you own your data? This is why they don't want to see Star, uh, Starlink uh, prosper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, that's the final one there. Let us know if we missed any. Let us know if you have some others that you want to share. Maybe you disagree with this. Let us know. We'd like to discuss that with you as well. If you put Bitcoin at the top, <laughs> may God bless your soul. We're back at the top now. You know, look at that. Anything else, sir? Champions. Hey. Like, subscribe, follow, leave a comment. We want to hear from you. Absolutely. Until next time, there's an out. Double O.